Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And this week I'm joined by these target holders. They come in A4 and A3 and they're made by Bentress Shooting Supplies, a brand new company that's just hit the market. Now, first of all, I want to tell you a little story. Most Bentress shooters are looking for some sort of backstop and target holder solution in A3 so we can utilise the official World Rules Benchrest cards. And to be honest, I don't know a UK supplier at the moment, and I've been looking for one for a very long time. And as you know, I've made two of these in briefcases myself to take out to the field when I'm practising. And I've had to make my own because they're not available. And what I will say is these are now available, and I'm going to talk about them in a minute, but they far exceed the quality of my... Um, you know, my attempts at making them, although mine are safe and they hold the targets well, these are just spot on. So what what happened was I contacted, I saw these on eBay earlier in the week and I contacted the guys and asked them a few questions and they came back to me very quickly. And um, they wouldn't have known who I was because my eBay login has a completely different name to Airability, etc. And um, later in the week, they contacted me independently through Airability and said, you know, if I send you some, will you review them? And I said, well, if they're good enough, I will review them. So on top, what they did was they actually painted them in orange for me. Um, you know, this orange theme is getting a bit common now. I've got an orange scope of Falcon. I've now got orange target holders. I wonder what else orange I can get. But anyway, they arrived um, beautifully packed. And um, why don't I talk about them and show you the features and show you how well built these are. We're going to have a look at the A4 version first. Now, what I will say is that this, they're intending to supply this with an optional stand in the future. So look out for that. At the moment, it's just supplied as is. Now, it's made out of two millimeter steel. There are mounting points, so you can mount it on a wall or on a post or whatever. There are two on the side, one on each side here, and um, there are two on the back. So there are plenty of mounting options. And these are the type of thing, type of mounts where you put a screw head in and slide it down and it locks. So it's going to be very secure. These come in, well, the A4 one comes in at 3.7 kilograms. Now that's really quite sturdy for a box this size and it's made out of two millimeter steel so it's going to last forever this is the type of thing that you'll find in a scout hut in a hundred years time that's been painted 50 times but anyway this will last forever like i said it's made out of two millimeter steel and it's folded all the way around the edge here so you can slide the target in like this so this gives you a lot of options to print off A4 targets from the internet and use them for practice. Now, as you saw here, when I pulled the target out, as you can see here, I've already been at this and the paint's a bit chipped. And that's going to happen with every target box because I don't think there's any automotive paint in the world can, can take the hit of an airgun pellet. But um, I was shooting with this yesterday. It caught all the pellets. Because of the angled backstop here, the pellets do not bounce forward and out of the box, and they don't bounce back through the target. So you get nice, clean holes that stay clean. Um, now, one of my biggest worries about when I have a metal target box like this is how loud they are. Now, all metal target boxes are not going to be as quiet as shooting into a roll of carpet or something similar. But what they've done here, they put some sound lagging inside the um, box here, which stops that kind of resonance. It doesn't sound like a gong. So I was thinking, how best can I, um, you know, show this on one of my, um, you know, videos? So I thought I'll get a big spanner and I'll give it a tap just to show you that there's no resonance. As you can see, after the initial hit of the, um, you know, very big spanner onto the um, surface, it dies down very quickly. There's no resonance. There's no gong noises. Now, 
These, this, I don't know if I've just said, but it comes in at 3.7 kilograms. It's beautifully made, will last a lifetime. And, um, you know, the targets are very easy to change here by just slotting them in to the um, folded over edges of the target box. So for me, I think, you know, this is going to be a target holder and backstop that will essentially last forever if you're shooting sub 12 pound air rifles moving on to the big boy the a3 target holder you know it's been a while now i have been looking for years for an a3 target holder and backstop solution to practice my bench rest shooting on and as you know as i've said earlier i was driven to building my own you know backstops that would hold a3 targets because they just simply weren't available um, that's why I jumped on this as soon as I saw it was on eBay and started asking questions. So as you can see, they painted this one orange as well. It comes in at a, at a whopping 7.4 kilograms. So, you know, this, you know, you're not going to lose it easily. And just like the other one, it's made out of two millimeter steel. It's got a mountain pointed either side on the side, got two mountain points on the back. So that is absolutely um, bob on. The main difference, apart from the size and the weight of this unit compared to the A4 unit, is that the target is mounted by magnets, which is the same as what I did when I made my, um, my versions. And that helps you accommodate the slightly different sizes of, of target that um, you know, bench rest shooters use. Now, oh... This is one of my one of my better competition targets. There you go. That's a two for eight. Not perfect, but still good. Anyway, looking back onto this again, it's got the angled backstop. It's got the lip at the front that catches all your pellets. Um, I don't see how this will be any different to the other unit with the angled backstop. It stops the pellets coming back out. It stops them punching back through the paper. And it means that the angle down into the bottom here so you can collect them and recycle them. Again, this unit, dead as a dodo. It's, it's dead as a dodo. It's got the lagging inside. I can't see that it's going to be any different to shoot at than the A4 version. Um, what I'm going to do is this is going to be really a part one video. I was thinking about giving the smaller one, the A4 one, to my local club and um, so they can give it some hammer and um, I'll use this for my outdoor practice and we'll come back to them in about six months and see how they, they held up. Uh, I think they're honestly going to hold up a lot better than, than I'm going to hold up. But up to now, I'm very impressed. You know, this is probably the only A3 backstop and target holder solution that I know of on the market in the UK. And thank goodness it's a good one and it's rock solid. And as I said before, yes, I was gifted these, but I don't review anything that I don't believe in. So anyway, guys, until next time, remember, always have a safe backstop and take care. Bye-bye.